Greetings and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro Inc. and today I'll be demonstrating how to create a new order within Oro Commerce. While many customers will use the online store to create orders, orders can also come from other avenues such as phone calls, emails, contact us requests, or from other sales channels. Oro Commerce makes it easy to create an order for customers on the back office which allows users to create new customers or new customer users on the fly, configure shipping options, add discounts, and more. To create a new order, navigate to the Sales menu and select Orders. The Orders grid displays. To create new order, click the Create Order button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. The General section is for order details such as who created the order, who's the customer and the customer user, and which website this order applies to. The owner is pre-populated with the user creating the order, but this value can be changed to another user of the system. Use the drop-down to select a customer. You can use the hamburger button to load a list of customers to choose from. Select a customer user if necessary. If this is a new customer or customer user, click the plus button and a new customer dialog will appear. For more information about creating customers and customer users, please see our video in the Media Library. Click the Line Items link. Here you can add products to the order. To add a product, click the plus Add Product button. Use the drop-down to select product. Alternatively, you can begin typing in the name of the product to narrow down your search. You can also click on the hamburger icon to see a list of all the products. Add a quantity of the item for the order. Add a price for each item. If required, you can choose a date that the order must be shipped by at the customer's request. You can add notes to the order by clicking the Add Notes link. To add a new product, click the plus Add Product button and fill out the details as previously mentioned. When you're finished adding products, click on the Billing Address link. Use the drop-down to select an existing billing address or select Enter Other Address option to add a new one. Click on the Shipping Address link. Again, use the drop-down to select an existing shipping address or select the Enter Other Address option. Click on the Shipping Information link to configure shipping options. To calculate shipping options, click on the Calculate Shipping Option button. This button will display any pre-configured payment rules. Use the radio button to select an option, or you can override the shipping cost by adding your own value to the overridden shipping cost amount field. Click on the additional link to enter additional details. Here you can add details such as a PO number, a do not ship later than date, and any notes for the customer. Use a drop down to select a payment term. When you're finished, click the discounts link. Click the Add Discount button. Enter an amount to discount the item. You can select a discounted dollar value or a percentage by using the drop-down next to the discount field. The discounted price will automatically be calculated for you and removed from the total. Enter a description of the discount type. When you're finished, click the Orders Total link. This will allow you to view the final order amounts including all discounts, shipping, and taxes. When you're finished creating your order, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You're now returned to the View page of the order. From here, you have additional options to add shipping tracking information, to edit the order, delete the order, or use the More Actions drop-down to add an attachment, add notes, send an email, or add an event. You can always click on the Orders breadcrumb to return back to the Orders grid. From this screen, you can hover over the ellipse on the right of any order and use the quick action items to view, edit, or delete the order directly from the grid. Additionally, click on any order in the grid to load the order's view page. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocommerce.com/media-library.